We're only in town for two days. Marlins just had a five and two road trip through St. Louis and Washington. And then the Mets are back here. And are a little bit better. And he, oh, wow. 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 There have been a lot of those on both sides. We've seen Trout not happy. And that's going to do it for Avi Garcia. He gets thrown out of the game. He's really got a case there. Avi's upset. Coop was upset. Trout was upset. Barrett points and says, that's contact. Could increase the fine. I doubt there's any suspension. Interestingly enough, I get asked why umpires can touch players, but not players touching umpires. And there's actually a rule about it that prohibits players and coaches from touching umpires, but not the other way around. Now, we've talked about good touch and bad touch. This is bad touch. Outside, that's one of the, the poorest calls on a pitch off the plate inside. And Avi certainly had a beef. Unfortunately, cost him. Cost Don Mattingly, too. That ball's not even close. It's low, too. Yeah, it's 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 more low than inside. Per the numbers, it's well over home plate and into the horizontal zone, but vertical is another story. A point I was alerted to was once again, we have a situation where two graphic representations of the strike zone show two different pitch locations. The broadcast overlay live real time on TV shows the pitch is low, while the stat centric baseball savant, that's MLB's own website, shows that the pitch is touching the bottom of the zone, which makes it a strike. So which zone do we use? For those who have followed us for a while, you already know that we use neither graphic. We use the recorded numbers, the raw data, without any graphical manipulation or simulation. And the numbers here support the TV zone more so than MLB's own savant zone. That's because MLB's own savant zone is not normalized to the batter where the broadcast zone is ideally, but that doesn't always happen as we've seen before. So that's why we use the raw numbers, because we can't really trust the graphics. The other question is front knee or back knee? Rule is actually the hollow beneath the knee, but same point, front or back. There is theory that we should do the front knee, theory that we should do the back knee, or an average of the heights. Remember, we're judging it relative to where home plate is positioned. That's where the strike zone is, home plate. So the back knee usually isn't useful because it's usually positioned behind home plate. And the, our lovely baseball rule book, of course, doesn't have any opinion on the matter, no differentiation. So it's on part discretion. That's because when the rules were written so long ago, batting stances generally had both knees at around the same height. The, the poorest calls on a pitch. So what is it an incorrect call? Yes, it was incorrect by two inches. It wasn't as bad as the TV made it look, but it was incorrect. Hey, no Syndergaard has Mike Malinsky's hair. What's up with that? It's more low than inside. So not a strike but Syndergaard gets the call.